Hi guys. Welcome. Sorry, I was having problems there with my Zoom. Finally connected. Hi, teacher. Don't Hi worry. guys. Good, good. How are you? Fine, thank you. What about you? Not bad, not bad. I'm happy that it's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> TGIF. Friday. You guys know TGIF? You know that? No? Ever heard of that? No, it's a very mm -hmm. it's a very common expression in, in English. We say TGIF. And that means thank God it's Friday. It's a short version. Actually, there's, there's, uh, there's a famous um, restaurant that's called uh, TGIF. You guys probably have seen it. Yeah. And it, it stands for thank God it's Friday. Yeah. So whenever it's Friday, people are like, woo, yay. All right. So, yeah. How are you guys? Pretty good? Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Pretty good, teacher. Yeah. Good. I'm pretty it's good. It's Friday. I'm yeah, happy. it's Friday. Woo. Yes. Are we, we ready? Need, are we ready to start the party? We need to take a rest. Yes, I know. I know. Well, it's gonna be funny because we're gonna have we're gonna have um sorry. We're going to have first the um, the uh, weekend, and then we come back, we have class, and then we go back again rest. <laughs> so that's going to be very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, well, before anything, I want to start with the attendance. Um, so you guys know the drill, please um, have your cameras on. Okay. You guys have the cameras on? Everybody? You guys can do me that little favor. Okay, todavía no veo todas las camaritas encendidas. Por favor, acuérdense que necesitamos tenerla encendida. Okay, guys, ready now? No. Okay, here we go. So, Ani? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Ani. And Ana Maria? Ana Maria? No, okay. What about Carolina? I'm here. I am here. Okay, welcome, Carolina. Welcome, teacher. And uh, Emily? Good night. I'm present. Good, good evening, Emily. Um, good evening. Yes, we always say good evening when we say hi to people, and we say yes. good night when we say bye. Okay. Yes, I forgot. Yeah, it's Thank okay. You. It's okay. No problem. It happens. Just, just letting you know. Just sometimes we we forget those things. Um, or or also we can say good good night when we're going to go to bed, right? So like when you say to your family, okay. Um, good night, you know, because you are going to go to bed. That's the, that's another way that you can you can say it. Okay. All right. Um, okay, let me see where we are. Uh, Hazel. Hazel. No Hazel. Okay, uh, what about Joanna? Joanna, Cecilia?
Joanna Cecilia? No. Okay. Uh, George, um, Jorge? Present teacher. Jorge? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Karina? Present. Welcome, Karina. And Carla? Carla? Carla here? Okay, Kevin? Kevin, sorry, Santiago. Here, teacher. Okay, welcome, Santiago. And Linda? Linda? No? No, Linda? Okay. Um, and Marlene? Present. Okay, welcome, Marlene. Uh, uh, can you turn on the camera, Marlene? Oh, yes, but I'm driving right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Miguel? Present. Okay, welcome, Miguel. Thank you. And Nelson G? Present. Okay, welcome, Nelson. You're welcome. Um, and uh, Norma? Present teacher. Welcome, Norma. Okay. Uh, Olga? Present teacher. Okay, great. Welcome, Olga. Rocio? Present. Okay, very good. Welcome, Rocio. Um, Beatrice. Present. Welcome, Beatrice. Suleima Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, can you turn on the camera, Suleima? Uh, just teacher in one moment, please. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Tatiana? Tatiana? No? Okay. Um, all right, uh, Nelson A. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome, Nelson. And Omar. The same. Okay, very good. Welcome, Omar. And Suleima Melgar. Suleima Melgar. No. Um, does, does somebody know anything about Suleima? We haven't seen her at all. Alguien sabe algo de ella? No? Okay. We'll have to give her a call. Okay. Um, um, and Jose Rodri Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo? Not here. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, okay. First of all, the, the first thing I'm going to do before we start um, our actual class is um, that I, what I promised you guys to do, uh, I noticed that some of you, well, many of you better said, were having problems with the exercises online. So I want, I prefer to do it in class because I think it's going to be easier for us to um, to figure it out, right? To figure out if we have any questions and help you out this way. So um, yeah, so let's 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 use this time to do that. 
Um, okay, so tell me what problems are you guys having? Um, what, first of all, what exercise? Let's start with that. What exercise? Uh, 1.5 unit, unit one teacher. There's some kind of problem with the order to- 1.5. Yes. Okay. What 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 is the problem that you're having? Uh, I try several uh, forms to to make a sentence in the or in the right order, but it doesn't work. I am not sure if okay. if I made a mistake or, or something like that. All right. Uh, is this the exercise you're talking about? Yes. Okay. All right. So remember what my suggestion was from the beginning, that when you have words like, like uh, sorry, exercises like this, it's better to copy and paste. Right? So that's the first thing I can tell you. It's best to copy and paste. So for to give you an example, the first one. What would be the answer for the first one? What do we yes. start with? The, the manager. The manager? Yeah. Would rather ask. The creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you something. There's a, I know that there are two subjects here. So, sorry, two, sorry, two nouns here, which is the creative team. We have the creative team and uh, the manager. Now, I think if I'm not mistaken, the platform has given you a hint to know which one we start with. So the hint, right, or la pista, right, the hint that it gives us is that it's in capital letter. One of these is in capital letter because it starts the sentence. So what is it? The creative team. Right, creative team. We're going to copy here. OK. What, what's next? We'll rather ask. Good. Oh. Would we'll rather ask. Next. And the creator. No, no, no. The manager. The manager. Good. The manager to design a relaunch of the product. Um, to design, would okay, right? Would I rather ask the manager. Design a relaunch of the project. To design. Design. A relaunch of the product. And notice the, the little dot, right, which is a period, is um, already there. So we don't need to add anything. OK, let's come we'll go back and check. I, I won't be I, correct. So the what manager we, is the. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here we're going to have to switch the, the, the nouns around. Instead of saying the creative team, we're going to start with the manager. Yes. Uh, that that sentence uh, was in our in in our exercises. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That sentence it's okay to me in the.
I was some problems in the number two and number five. Hold on, I just, I me confundí. The manager would... Would rather ask the cleaner team team. Hold on. Algo pasa acá. The period. Would... The, the manager would... Would write... Right? The creative team to design. Maybe you are changing the, the capital letter. No, es que creo que creo que me he confundido en algún lugar. The manager would rather would rather ask the creative team would rather ask the creative team. The creative team with the, without the capital letter. The creative team. Ask, ask, solo, I have one, ask, I have one, I have one, I have one, I have one, I a relaunch re of the pro of the product. Fine. Always be careful with the spaces. Also, also a period. Yeah. Okay, so I come here and I send, and it should be correct. Correct now. Okay. Oh. Maybe, maybe it's the manager. Maybe the problem is the manager with the capital letter. <laughs> Just give me a moment. The manager would rather. Ask the creative team. Oh, I put creative team, creative for, for, twice. That is the problem. There you go. Okay. Let's try it again. And now it's correct. Okay, so there you go. So see, sometimes you are gonna get into these problems so you're just gonna have to uh, work around them. Try to figure out if you have um, put an extra word in there, an extra space, an extra letter, if uh, you forgot a capital or period, things like that, okay? All right, yeah. um, so what, what other problems are you guys having with this one? Many mm -hmm. distribution go right there, mash. Many distribution go right there, mash. Sell, sell all product at lower price. Yes. And here the peer uh, the period would not be used until the end, right? So you gotta you gotta remember that period would be until the end. Okay. Do you guys do you guys have more questions that you want to ask me about this one? Teacher, in my case, I write and rewrite the second and the five, and it is still incorrect. I don't know why. Okay, number two. Let's do number two. 
Um, so let's do it together. What's the first one? Yes, teacher. What's the first word? Many distributors. Okay. Remember capital letter, right? I'm just going to cop I'm just going to copy and then just change to capital letter. Okay. Many distributors. What's next? Rider mush. Yeah, actually, you know what? This is actually a problem from the platform. Because remember, what did I teach you about using much? What is the order? Rather, uh, verb in the simple form. No, with using much. What is the order? ¿Quién se acuerda? We saw this. What is the order? Mm -hmm. what, what's the order of using much? Would much rather? Yes, exactly. The structure is would much rather. So actually, actually this is a problem with the platform. Okay. So it should say would much rather. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay. We'd much rather. Next. Sell our product. Right. Sell our product at a lower price. At our lower price. There you go. And okay. we're going to check. Correct. So yes, I, I will report that one because that is a problem from the platform. Remember the structure is would much rather. That's the structure that we have learned. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Um, I think this one is also a problem from the platform. Okay, let me let me let's let's figure this one out. Okay, so this one number five. What, what do we start with? Many more companies. Many more companies. Okay, and remember capital letter. Would rather become. Would rather become. Rather become. Uh huh. The low cost provider of a product. Rather become the law the low low cost provider of a product. Quit, quit, couchman about price wars. Yes. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna hit this, and I'm, I'm, I know I'm gonna get it wrong. Yeah, gonna get it wrong. And the reason I get it wrong because again, this is a problem from the platform. And there should be a, for some reason, there should be an A here, but they just didn't put it in the answer, or better said in the, in the prompt, but it should say with a great caution. Okay? Ah, ah, okay. Ah, great. Yeah. Simple as that. And then when I put this, it's going to be correct. There you go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to report those two because yes, that's actually a problem from the platform. It's actually, guys, not your fault. So um, I will report that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, teacher. Anything Thank else? you. You're welcome. Anything else? No, teacher. No? Okay. All right. So all the other exercises are clear? Yes. Yeah? Teacher. Yes. Can, you, can I see again the number five, please? Yeah, it's exactly the same as you have here. It's just that right here. Um, you have to include the letter A. Yeah. So right here. You're going to put the word A. Okay, so with a great ca caution about war prices. Thanks. You're welcome. Anything else? Not teacher. No. So all all the other exercises are clear. They're fine. You don't have any problems with them. Yeah. Yeah, teacher. Okay. All right, so 1.1, 1.3, and 1.7 are okay too? Yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to stop sharing here. Okay, so in that case, since um, it seems that you guys are able to understand this, um, Give me a second. Okay, all right, guys, we're going to, um, I'm gonna share my PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Just to chair. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're gonna be looking at strategies to handle the declining stage of a product. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, it's the intermediate five and it's class number five. Sorry, intermediate three and it's class number five. Ya los estaba llevando un nivel más alto. Easy teacher. Okay, good. All right, so let's start. So this is the quantifiers. Remember, we started looking at quantifiers from uh, last class. We looked at some quantifiers that we only use with non-count nouns. So remember, we said that non-count nouns are those counts that those nouns that it's impossible for us to count. Right? We don't. Um, so, um, Len, we gave you example words. Like um, like we said yesterday, pasta, water, money, right? But other words are like um, effort, luck, time. So things that are like intangible, like we can't we can't touch them. Those would definitely be uncountables, okay? Or non-count. That's another word. And then we also use quantifiers with um, count nouns. So those are the ones we can count. Right, we said yesterday where it's like, um, we said a, you know, car, um, uh, bills, dollars, right? And also words like uh, hours, okay? We can count hours. We can't count time, but we can count hours, right? Yeah, so just keep that in mind. You can't count time, but we can count, out, count hours, okay? Now, there are certain words that uh, we can use independent of, of what kind of, um, of noun and if, if it's, if it's, if it's a non-count noun or a, no, a count noun. There are some words that we can always use. For example, words like a, like, um, a lot of, it's the same for both, right? Or the word some. It's also the same for both, okay? Or plenty of, the same for both. 
and the word no too, which indicates zero. It's also used for both. But there are words that are, I'm sorry, um, quantifiers that are exclusive of, um, Give me a moment. They're exclusive of uh, the whether it's a noun count or a non count noun. For example, we saw um, a little, right? A little means small a quantity, but it's for non count nouns. And also, the same thing means small quantity is a few, and that's for count nouns. We can also use many for non count nouns and sorry, much for non-count nouns and many, which is the counterpart for count nouns. And then we can also use a great deal for non-count nouns. Nothing over here, okay? Right, and I also gave you some examples. We have Mary drank a little water. Okay, oh, hold on. Um, or drink a, sorry, oh, sorry guys, a little water, okay, which means that it's non-count, okay, but remember we can also use count nouns, like some, they try to have some patience. Okay. Uh, once again, we have um, much, which is exclusive for, for non-count nouns, Rick has much experience, and also Peter has few friends, is also very exclusive for um, count nouns. We bought many things from the shop, it's exclusive for count nouns. And we had a lot of fun. This one is actually one of those ones that you can. Um, use um, depending on the subject, sorry, of the noun. And the same with some, right? Give me some water. Okay. Any questions so far? Not so far, teacher. No? Okay. All right. So now it's time to put into practice. Okay, so let's see if we can, if we do actually understand it or not. Um, so, exercise, identify and correct three mistakes related to the use of quantifiers in the statements below. So here we have six sentences. You have to correct and ident identify and correct three of those mistakes, okay? For this, I'm going to put you into, excuse me, into pairs. Um, and I'll give you 10 minutes to work on it. Are you clear about the instructions? Pretty clear or not so clear? No, no picture. No? Okay, so the sentences are six sentences, sorry, six sentences, right? Read the sentences and you have to identify three mistakes uh, that are in the sentences using quantifiers, right? Three mistakes that are, uh, they are, um, they are about quantifiers. And once you have identified them, correct them. Okay. Does that make sense now? Okay. Any other questions? No? Okay, all right, perfect. 
So I'm going to open up the rooms then. Um, Karina and Carolina, any problems? Yeah, teacher. What's so? Uh, no sé, se quedó. Okay, voy a mover entonces a otro lugar. Carolina, va, va a tener que entrar y salir porque no. Ok, sigo en el mismo problema. <risa> Vaya, ahorita, teacher. No, porque, pero, um, the customer, I, I think clients, yes, is countable, but mm -hmm. I don't know, the customer is, is similar. Um, okay, yeah. Dejémoslo de último. Okay, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh -huh. The second. It's necessary to revise some of the components of the marketing strategy. So there is some of this is some of the components. Some. Mm. Yeah. I think yeah. It's correct. I, uh huh. Yeah. It's correct. Yeah. Okay. okay. And the third. Before sales decline, it's essential that we implement a great deal of modifications for sales decline. Before sales it is essential that we implement a great deal of modification. A great. Yeah, ¿qué cuál es? Deal of is for non count non count nouns. Non count nouns. Deal. A great, no. a great deal of uh -huh, no countable for non count. Uh, it's correct because the modification. Great deal of, yeah, I think uh -huh. it's correct. Too. Uh, number four. <laughs> Okay, plenty of. have expressed Just plenty. Plenty of. Uh, I don't remember, but don't it's remember. a clown now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a clown now. Is it? Is it both? Ouch. Is it both? Is it both uh, no and countable? Plenty of. Mm, of our consumer. Ahorita estoy cocinando. ¿Por qué? Ya ves, es sorpresa. Un montón de... ¿Por qué? 
Ya voy, solo voy a terminar una actividad. No. <laughs> okay. Hello. Rocio. Twenty of customer have expressed satisfaction with the problem. Okay. Mini. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Solo me senté un ratito. Y se le fue la señal. Yeah, but I'm here again. <laughs> okay. Um, I think it's a one mistake is a little. And the uh, number five, a little complicated. Maybe it's a few or I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yes, okay, yes, number is five one, is one, is one mm -hmm. mistake. The next. Uh, uh, many orders. Somewhere have many orders. Mm. Oh no. Um, no, maybe order yes. is countable. Yeah. Yes, because many things, many orders. Yeah. Things. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. so this the other two. Mm. Maybe many, also many, many customers. Uh, for me, it's think. many, it's many customers. Many customers. Uh, okay, um, what else? We have three, I think. Number one, much, sorry, many oh, instead of much. And number... Yes. A little competitors have established <laughs> prices for products similar to ours. A few competitors. Okay. Number six, supermarkets have, have placed many orders of retail Much orders. Yeah, supermarket has yeah. orders of green tortillas, but orders yeah. is un uncountable. Then many orders. Yeah, we say uh, number of order is uncountable. Order is uncountable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I say a number of orders is count, count, countable. For example, three orders? Yes, yes. That is the the problem ident identify which is what is countable and what is incountable. Depend on context of the sentence, no? Yes, supermarket have placed many orders. <laughs> many orders sound sound good of green tortillas this week. We, we we need to to check other time the the other sentence to to review. <laughs> Dana project the new product will not attract much customers. Customers are countable. Then is many the work that we need to use. In the second, it is necessary to remind some some. Yes, it's a specific uh, client. 
some of the components. Customer specific content. It's a group of customer. It's countable. Oh, countable main. Huh? But say many? No, it's some. Many. Many is, I think, because customers, you, you can count five customers, seven customers. It is necessary to revise in the second one. It's necessary to revise the components. Components, I think, is com countable too. Countable. But some is, I know, countable and countable. Yes. But before sales design it is essential that we implement a great a great deal a great deal hello girls hi teacher good evening good evening good evening how are I'm you? Sorry, but I'm all right. Be home right now. Have uh, teacher. I'm sorry. Oh, the okay. traffic was was terrible. It's okay. I understand. I understand. Um, Ana Maria, are you there? Yes, yeah, yes, I'm here. Okay. Uh, yes, and in a few uh, minutes ago, I connected to the meeting because I have some travel with my internet okay okay no problem yeah. um right now what we are doing is uh we're solving the exercise in the book i will share with you okay uh, just discussing about or uh, we're completing uh, i completed completed the exercise mm -hmm. oh you have um, this exercise, you have to identify and correct three mistakes related to the use of quantifiers in the statements below. So you have to look at the sentences and you have to identify three mistakes and correct the mistakes. Uh, oh, perfect. Uh, well, I will. Okay. Uh, thank you, teacher. Okay. I think it's. But um, girls, that is in your manual, so I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay. Okay. Yo las estuve viendo hoy esas oraciones. How Plenty of our customer. Plenty. Um. Sí, es, es algo que, no, que, que nosotros decimos, ah, es suerte, pero no es algo que tenga que ver. Ajá. O sea, eso no puede entonces, cuantificar. Entonces, en la primera sería algo similar. Dana Project, the new product will not attract, will, eh, will not attract much customer. Queda como la suerte de si, de si va a atraer o no a muchos clientes. Según Entonces, la proyección de, 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 de Dana, ¿no? ¿Ah? Según la proyección, es, esa dice de que según la proyección de, de Dana, el, el producto no va a traer muchos clientes, muchos customers. O sea, ella dice, no, analizando, pero, yo veo que no... Pero es una proyección. Uh -huh. O sea, queda siempre eh, a la suerte de a ver si 
aplica o no aplica lo ah, que okay. aplica. Es correcto porque igual se puede equivocar, ¿cierto? Ajá, entonces en este caso, si es uncountable no, es correcto el de how much. Guys, try, try to, to um, speak in English, okay? Okay, teacher. It's correct. Okay. Number one is, it is correct. Exactly. For me, it's correct. Uh -huh. I am. I too. <clears throat> I agree. It is necessary to revise some the component of the marketing strategy. Mm. Some of the component for me is countable. No. Yes, it's no countable. Because um, I say, uh, I, uh, I, I say, um, one, two, three component. Yes, no uh, number, number. Uh -huh. No. Hello. Hello. Girls, are I, don't you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is my connection or you coming? Hi. Hello. Uh, girls, are you there? Because I can't. I just can see your pictures. Yes, I'm here, but Hi. the <laughs> Rocio connection. Can you hear me? No, it's no, it's correct. Este Rocío no le, no le funciona la señal. Oh, ok. Tratamos de conectar, pero yo no puedo escucharle nada porque siempre es trabajo. Ok. Well, let's... Pero, pero ya terminamos. Oh, wonderful. Ok, good. Yeah. All right, we're going to be going to the main room anyways, so we'll, we'll be there. Okay. I, I think it's the number, the number three, maybe. Because modification sounds countable. But no specific modification. Mm -hmm. I'm confused. I'm confused. Uh, modification. Much, many, much. many. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Is it essential that we implement many modifications? That we implement. Uh... Right here. Is Salis is is a uh, identification number? Mm. The client. The client is uh, Yes, is is a con control now. Yes. Yes, it's correct. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Are you guys finished? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right.
manifestaciones y al tener las identificadas, entonces podemos eh, corregirla, pero las contamos cuántas modificaciones son. In, in my opinion, is contable. No. For me, it's my opinion. It's similar. And we use many. Let's see how many, many, many. Are you guys finished? Uh, no. Not teacher. Okay, you have one more minute, okay? Okay. Silvia, is a uh, my opinion. Hello guys, are we finished? Yeah, teacher finish. Okay, wonderful. I will see you in the main room then. Did you do, did you uh, do homework? No, I didn't. I didn't. I I going to do in the platform. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do, but I'm going to do uh, today. They finish the class. I'm going to do. Ah, okay. Yes. Uh, what about you? Did you do? Okay. Um, okay. So, it can help you to improve the pronunciation. Sí, the pronunciation. You don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So we can Thank use you. all the technology that we have. Okay. We already finished the chair. Oh, good. Okay, perfect. I'll see you in the main room. Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you. Escuchen. Only, only. Yes, I, yes, I don't know what happened. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, room seven. I don't know. Okay. All right, guys and girls, I'm hoping that you guys have finished. Uh, but before we check the answers, I'm going to be taking the attendance. Okay. So um, please listen for your name. Okay. Um, Ani? Present teacher. But remember, turn on your cameras, everybody. Make sure that I can see your faces. Um, Ana Maria? Yes, I'm here, present. Okay, wonderful. Welcome, Ana Maria. Uh, thank you. And... 
present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Emily? Present. Okay, welcome, Emily. Hazel? Hazel? Not here. Okay, uh, Joanna? Joanna? Not here, Joanna, okay. Uh, what about Jorge? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Jorge. And Karina? Present. Okay, great. Um, Carla? Carla? Okay, Kevin? Santiago? Here, teacher. Welcome. Uh, Linda? Present teacher. Welcome, Linda. Thank you. Marlene? Present. Okay, great. And um, Miguel? Present teacher. Okay, great. Nelson G? Present. Great. Norma? Present teacher. Okay, great. Olga? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Rocio? Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, Rosa? Sorry, Beatriz? Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Suleyma Rodriguez? Present. Great. Tatiana? Tatiana? Nelson A? Nelson A? No? What about Omar? Present. Great. Uh, Suleyma Melgar? Suleyma Melgar? Okay, and Jose Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo. Okay, all right. Okay, so thank you guys. So let's check the answers and please tell me when you can see my screen. You see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So we're gonna identify first. We're gonna identify the mistakes, the three mistakes. That's all we're gonna do right now. Identify. Okay. So the first one, number one, Dana projected the new product will not attract much customers. Any problems with that? I think. Yes. If yes. Any customer. It is many instead of much. Okay, we're just identifying. Yes. All we're doing is identifying. So is, is there any problem? Are there any problems? Yes. With yes. that sentence, have a problem. What, what is the problem? Uh, mm, uh, it's describe a customer and customer are countable. So we need to use many. Okay, so all right, so we the problem is the much. Okay, good. Yes. All right. Um, excellent. All right. So mm -hmm. what about next one? Is it necessary to revise some of the components of the marketing strategy? Any problems there? I think that's correct. You think it's correct? Mm -hmm. What about the rest of you guys? Do you think it's correct as well? Yes. Yes, teacher. It's correct. It's correct. Yeah. Okay. No problems? Okay. All right. Next. Number three. Before sales decline, it is essential that we implement a great deal of modifications. Any problems there? Uh, 
think that it's okay too. It's okay? Yeah, everybody thinks it's okay? I'm yes, teacher. I'm confused with modification. It's non, it's countable or non countable. Well, notice this is modifications. Modifications. So is there is there just one modification or many? Many. Many. So is yes. it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Sorry? Uncountable. It says modifications. So can we put a number to it? Is it possible to find the number? Yes. Yes. So it countable or uncountable? Countable. I think it's countable. It's countable. Good. Yeah. Okay. So is it okay or any problems? I think have a problem. You think it has a problem? Yes, because a great deal of is for non-countable. What do you guys think about that? Do you agree? To be uh, a great. Uh -huh. mm, great deal. Uh, That's what do you guys think? Any problem? That is a lot of okay. instead of the if. Oh, yeah. A lot of. Let's go. Instead of so, is there a problem or no? Yes. Yes? Yes. I think that no. I don't have a problem. You think, okay. you, think it, you think it doesn't have a problem? Yes. Yeah. But I'm not sure. You're not sure. It's okay, so guys. Problem or no? You just tell me yes or no. Yes, there is a problem. Yes, there is a problem? Okay, what's the problem? I think that is uh, instead of... Great no, no don't, don't tell me how to correct it. Just tell me what the problem is. Great deal. Great deal. Can you hear me? Yes, so... Okay, so what's the, so what is the problem? A great deal of is, is the problem because it's for uh, uncountable. Okay, so a great deal. So the problem is a great deal. All right, thank you. Number four, plenty of our customers have expressed satisfaction with the product. Any problems? All right. The sentence is correct. It's okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. It's Remember okay. that plenty is, um, is, can be used for both. Oh, so it's no problem. Uh -huh. Okay. Number five, a little competitor, sorry, competitors have established low prices for products similar to ours. Mm. Oh, problem. Uh, oh, mistake. Have a mistake. Okay. So what? What's the correct yeah. one then? A few. A little is a the mistake. Okay. So the a little. Okay. All right. Good. Next, supermarkets have placed many orders of green tortricas this week. Any problems? No. 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 Correct. Okay. Okay, so it's correct. All right, good. Remember that uh, many can be used for countables, and this one's accountable, so it's great. All right, so we have the we have the identified the three mistakes. How are we going to correct it? 
Tell me about the first one. How are we going to correct much? Many. Many. Good. Why do we put many? Because. Because it's comfortable. Because it's comfortable. Customer is comfortable. Because now. Good. Because customer is accountable now. Okay. Excellent. Put it under here because that way you can see better. Okay. Great. Next. Over here, a great deal of. How can we change this one? A lot of. of. A lot of. Good. A lot of. A lot of. Mm -hmm. Good. A lot of modifications. Or actually, I'm going to take the word of because it's already there. Yes. Okay. So a lot of modifications. Okay. Next. How do we change a little? A few. A few. But it hurts. Why? Because it's for. Mm, first, it's comfortable. Right. And. The first reason. It's and competitors like, are countable, and we use few for countable noun. Okay. Um, okay, so We have to change a few because um, competitors is countable and we're talking about small quantity, right? Okay, very good. Any questions? No, it's clear, teacher. Uh -huh. All right. Um, all right, let's go on to the next one. Then. Let's go on to the next activity, uh, which is we're going to be looking at vocabulary. It says here, there are varied causes that generate the declining of a product. Match the cause below to their corresponding definitions. Compare your answers with a partner. So you're going to be working in partners. It, I want you to match this with the definition. Okay, so um, we have obsolence, uh, demand downturn, changes in customer preference, global competition. So you're going to match them to these. So I'm going to put you once again in your group, as you were working before. Uh, let's, I'm going to have to stop sharing. I'll open up the breakout rooms. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys um, 10 minutes, I think. Probably, yeah, all right, let's open it up.
Hi guys, what happened? Hi. 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 <laughs> it's weary first. I think. Um, Obsolescence. Teacher, uh, what is the pronunciation of the of the number one? Sorry. What is the pronunciation of the number one? Oh, um, obsolescence. Obsolescence. Okay. Obsolence. I think obsolescence is um, the presence of innovative products or service cause customers to change their taste and preference. Okay. I think. Um, what significant obsolescence? And that's what you have to figure out. What the... <laughs> what do you think? What does it sound like to you? Mm. What does it sound like to you? Maybe it could be something that I, I don't know how to say um, that not work anymore, maybe. Uh, for example, if we have uh, all our uh, old phone, it does, doesn't. I can use the, the, the phone because the technology and all the application are innovate yes and, okay. exactly yes exactly so basically um something um it's the action uh, sorry it's, it's the noun yeah or it's the action of becoming obsolete right obsolete so it no longer works because it's too old um you know it's outdated Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Does that answer your question, Miguel? No, teacher. Thank you. It does that answer your question? Yes, finish. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Mm. So I think obsolescence is is the presence of innovative products or service cause customers to change their taste and preference. Then demand downturn is a significant, significant decline in the competitiveness or value. For me, uh -huh. just for me, is a, a significant decline um, of solutions. Mm. Probably because of my, um, yes, could be. In number two, demand doctor for me is number it's three, average. international competing companies. No, I think that is global competition. Mm-hmm. 
and change in customer preference. That is mm, the first, or the me. present of inventory. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Tenemos bien eso, la, la uno y la tres. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, well, I think Pero la, la dos, la dos, sí, el descenso de la demanda. Eso sí. Is a reduction of customer interest in buying a product or service. That is, for me, the man downturn. I'm not sure. I think it's three, one, four, two. The order. Three, one, two, four. Mm, no, I have three, one, four, two. Four, two, al revés. Mm -hmm. yes. Sorry, I'm probing in connection. Okay. Okay. Is is clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Demand downturn. Okay. Change. Sylvia, for me is yes? is one, three, four, two. It's correct for you. Wait a minute. Uh, one, man. One, three, four, uh -huh. two. Mm, no, uh, for me is three. Two uh, is okay. Three. Yes, this is okay. Three, one, four, two. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Yes. Is the pronunciation is correct is demand down to demand down to yes demand down to torn 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 turn Demand in turn. Demand on turn. What is the pronunciation of the first? Obsolence. 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 Okay. In the Competitiveness is correct. Competitive. Global competitive. Compe what, what are we talking about? Because it's global, uh, it says global competition, but um, Where are, you, where are you looking? In the second below, a significant decline in the competitiveness. Oh. Oh, okay. A significant decline in the competitiveness of or value. Mm -hmm. Competitiveness. Competitiveness. 
Competitiveness. Competitiveness. Mm -hmm. Okay. The pronunciation is correct. International comparing companies. Sorry? Is correct. International comparing companies. That if companies. Is correct. These are. Uh, Competing, competing companies. Competing. Competing companies. Okay. Yes, teacher, thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, your partner left. Something happened to your partner. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to go visit the other groups. Rocio. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's very. But we, we are finished, right? Yes, I think, yes. Uh -huh. Is the number three? Three, uh, one, four, one, and two. Four and two, okay. Exactly. Okay. So, well, I, have, I have to. Your connection is is bad. Mm, <laughs> my internet is not on sale right now. Oh, I know. Yes. <laughs> mm. Pero ya casi terminamos. Mm -hmm. oh. I feel frustrated. <laughs> oh my God. I see. In connection. Mm -hmm. I have again now. Let me say, your internet connection is unstable. <laughs> Your internet <laughs> connection is unstable. Yeah, it's like oh my god. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, all the places in the house, and do. Yeah. Okay, all right, guys and girls, so let's check the answers. Um, okay, so we have obsolence. What does it mean, obsolence? 
You guys can open up your microphone and tell me. Please continue. For me, a significant decline in the significant decline in the competitiveness or value of a product usually becomes more innovative or cheaper when is available. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Very good. That's for one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Demand downturn. A reduction of a reduction, a reduction of customers, customers in buying a product in a new product. Good. Okay. Just be careful, it's not reduction, it's reduction. Reduction. Normally, whenever you see the U, it's not product, it's not pronounced, it's not U, it's a. Uh. Normally it's a uh, so reduction. Reduction. Reduction, reduction. Okay. Okay. Oh, perfect. All right. Changes in customer preference. The presence of innovating products or innovating a product of service customer customers to change their states and preference. Good. Okay. Preferences. 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 Yes. Preference. Okay. Good. Changes in customer service. Uh, sorry. It's international. Sorry, sorry. Global competition. Yes. International. Yeah, international companies they offer companies better products at cheaper prices, 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 prices and with better options, which might cause the decline, decline of locally manufactured products. products. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I believe yes. Yeah. Very good. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Any questions about this so far? No. No? Uh, how can, uh, what is the correct, uh, correct pronunciation of the competitiveness? Competitiveness. Compact. Ah. Okay, hold on. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. Uh, okay. So she's asking about this word right here. Yes. Yes. Competitiveness. Competitiveness. Yes. Competitiveness. The stress is on the, the second syllable. Compet. Competitiveness. 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 Oh. Yes, perfect. Competitiveness. Competitiveness. <laughs> Competitiveness. And the meaning of that word, teacher? It's the noun of to compete. Com to compete. You understand to compete, right? Yes. Okay, so to compete is the noun. Sorry, so it's the verb. And the noun is competitiveness. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. And comparing. Competitiveness. Uh, comparing the, in the line number three. International. Competing. 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 Yes. Competing companies. That is an adjective. International competing companies. So the companies that compete, it's, a, it's an adjective. Okay? Competitiveness. Competitiveness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Let's move on now that we understand this. Um, okay. We're going to move on to the next activity. We're gonna still look at vocabulary. It says the following are strategies to handle the declining stage of a product.
go online and find out more information about each of them. Okay, we're gonna work this. We're gonna um, work in groups, small groups, to do this. Okay, so you're gonna go online and find out the meaning of these words. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Clear. Okay. All right. So I'm going to um, give you. You guys can. Work, I'm going to give you a chance to work in groups so that you can do this quickly. So because you can help each other out. Okay. So here we go. Let's open the groups. Rocio, Suleima, Omar, you having problems? Rocio, you having problems? See you. No. Luego dice eh, go online or go find uh, more information about in this auction. Eh, eh, Google. The strategy to handle to the the decline. Uh -huh. lower price. Lower price. Okay. Packaging. Go online. Lower power. Oh, yeah, lower power. Mm. Searching like uh, the, the concept or meaning about this concept. This is this continuation. Oh, se me congeló este volado. Se me quedó pegado. ¿Ah? Hola. 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 Ok, vamos a buscar entonces los conceptos. Que dice go online and find out more information about each of them. So lower price current account. Entonces, lower price current account. So lower price current price current account. So lower price Okay, lower my price. What will happen is to lower price or go to a strategy or piece of good business. Mm. <laughs> Lower, lower 
increases swing stand forward, but do is you do it start to the decrease. You will get a happy bed and the margin per cell with a reduction. No, the number no one will the number is this. Before the July, the president of the community is sure on the only other reason may sure you understand, understand the cause of the owner. I think this continuation in the way to co-branding. Lower. I found that uh, in, in lower lower press, is lower press uh, is the general conditions and definition relating to your uh, to this up and of sacrings but in general dispute urge to be less about the functions Repacking. 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 Repackaging. Repackaging. <laughs> Say again, please. Repackaging. Repackaging. Uh, okay. I have some difficulties to find out Jean. about it. Okay. Repackaging. The packaging is the objective of the packaging strategy is to resolve unmet need or need over hour. I don't know. complete or or you are looking for more definitions mm, it's complete 
Complete. We have lower prices, repacking, discontinuation, innovation, and co branding. Yes. We have all, all of them. Yes. You guys are ready? Yes. Yeah, we are ready, ready. teacher. Okay. See you in the main room. Okay. Thank you. It's all. Um, it's done. The all the work. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Um. All right. So, do we have the end? Do we have the meaning of all of them? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So, um. We understand all the meanings, all, all the vocabulary here. Yes, we understand. Okay, so so lowering price just means simply that um, one of the strategies is that you're not going to um, sell it for like you normally have sold it. You're going to make the price less. That's what it is. Repackaging means that we're going to um, present the product in a new way. Okay. Yes. Continuation simply means that we're going to stop making the product. No more of the same product. Innovation means that we're going to take the product and make it better. Okay, which is similar. With it, it could be confused with this one, but repackaging just simply means that the way you present it is different. Whereas innovation means that you actually make something better. You make it different. Not just the presentation. Sure, no, sure. The actual product is different. It's better. And then co-branding is basically taking uh, two companies, two brand names, and uh, putting the resources of both of them together and creating a new product, okay? So that the product is better uh, because it has the, the resources and of two different brands, okay? Yeah? Yes. Okay. So having said that, let's read about handling the declining of a product. Does read an excerpt about the declining of Apple's iPod. I'm gonna need three volunteers to help me read. Who can help me read? Me, teacher. Um, sorry, who said me? Oh, Mar Marlene. Okay, Marlene, you can read the first one, thank you. Who can read the second one? Number two, teacher. Okay, Jorge, wonderful. And last one, who can read it for me? Me, me teacher. Okay, thank you, Beatrice. All right, let's go for it. Okay, 12 years and 26 device letter, the generation definite Apple range looks like it's about to fight into history without so much as whimper. I think all of have known for some time that iPod is declining in business. Say Apple boss Tim Cook in 2014. Discussing the company's latest air earnings report, he announced massive profits. 
as ever, but not that the iPod sales hit the pen. 52% down on this time in 2013 with future dot accepted. Further. Further drop. Uh, for, further, further. Okay, very good, excellent. Uh -huh. Next. It's my turn. The iPod has been ner nervously looking over its shoulder for some time. When the iPhone was launched in 2007, Steve jo Jobs joked that it was the best iPod we've ever made. And he was right. With his apps and other smartness, the iPhone mean there was no longer any need to to own an iPod as a separate de device, so long as you could afford it. Afford it. Afford, afford it. Apple wasn't afraid to create a product that would disrupt a successful, exciting, ex existing, existing. Existing, existing business. Apple thought, if we don't do something, someone else will. And even today, despite the dramatic 52% fall, the iPod range still generates big revenues. 973 million, I guess, but 9700 million out of Apple's total revenues is just a minor sideline or as technology new site, the Birch Quit. Which leaves most people in the know how to predict that while iPod may not discontinue the iPod in the near, in the very near future, we are unlikely to see any kind or significant update of the devices. Okay, very good. Round of applause for the three of, um, students that spread. Excellent. All right, so. How many guys, how many of you actually own an I, Apple iPod? Do you guys own an iPod, an Apple iPod? No, nobody? Nobody. Okay, all right. Okay, now iPods, uh, yes, they, um, they were big at the beginning, right? Um, you know, at the beginning of the, the 2000s, but then it started to go down, right? Why did it go down? Why did the sales go down? I think it's because the, the, the cell phones can be the same thing. Right, yeah. Okay. They, they make the same um, function, but even better, right? Mm -hmm. right. Yes. right. Okay, good. Now, um, a, what, has, what has Apple decided to do then? Since uh, there is a declining in the product, what has Apple decided to do? Innovation. Mm. Have they innovated? According, uh, according to the article, uh, discounting. Are they going to discontinue the iPod? Mm -mm. <laughs> They add finisher. Yeah. So basically, um, with with the iPod, the iPod, um, it says that they are unlikely, or like they, it's not, it's they may not discontinue it in the near future. But. But what?
They may not discontinue it, but what? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Some date of the device. Yeah, they, they we're not likely to see any kind of significant. So it means there's going to be no significant updates. Okay, so in other words, probably the best that they could do would be something like uh, uh, repackaging, right? Just pre presenting it differently. But we're not going to make it better. We're not going to change very much of it. We're not going to discontinue it. Just kind of make it better. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Okay, we're going to stop there, guys, because time has caught up to us. So let's take attendance quickly. Please, uh, cameras on. Okay. All right. So, uh, Annie? Present teacher. Present. Okay, yeah, I got it. Sorry, it's just that I I lost the the date. Okay, all right. Let's see. Um, Ana Maria. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Carolina. Present teacher. Emily. Emily. No. Uh, Hazel. Hazel. Joanna? Here. Oh, okay, great. Emily. <laughs> Emily, okay. All right, great. It was a friend of mine. That's okay. Hey, uh, Joanna? Joanna? Uh, Jorge? Present. Great. Um, Karina? Present. Uh, Carla? Carla? Santiago? Your teacher. Okay. Um, uh, Linda? Present teacher. Marlene? Present teacher. Miguel? Present. Present. Nelson? Present teacher. Uh, Norma? Present teacher. Olga? Present teacher. Eh, Rocio? Present teacher. Rosa? Present. Eh, Suleima? Present teacher. Eh, Tatiana? Tatiana? Eh, Nelson A? Nelson A. Omar. Present teacher. Okay, great, excellent. Suleima Melgar. Y Jose Rodrigo. Okay. All right, guys, don't forget that today is the last day that you have to finish unit one. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be checking and updating and sending the report. Okay, so please finish off unit one. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Take care. Okay. See you. Bye. Thank you. See yeah. you next Thanks week. See ya. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.